Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today in part 4.9 of Mastering Parallel Programming series in C Sharp, we are diving into something incredibly powerful, task completion source. By the end of this video, you will have a solid understanding of how to use task completion source to control tasks manually. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon. That way you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. Parallel programming using PFX, that is Parallel Framework Extension Libraries in C Sharp. If you have watched my previous videos, you probably remember this diagram. Well, today we'll go ahead one more step further and learn how to use task completion source to control task manually. Demystifying task completion source in C Sharp. First of all, let's talk about what a task is. In programming, a task represents some work that will be done usually in the background. It has two main purposes. Number one, a run code in the background. It means it schedules a piece of code in the form of the delegate to run on a background thread. Number two, manage work item. It provides tool to handle tasks such as setting what happens when the task is done in the form of the continuations, managing child tasks and handling errors. So task allow us to run code asynchronously and manage work items efficiently. But sometimes we need more control over our task and that's where task completion source comes in. So now question is what task completion source is? Task completion source is nothing but a special helper class that lets you create and control task manually without running any code in the background thread. And it's a part of the system.threading.task namespace. So let's have a quick review of task completion source class shown over here. So here, if you see under this namespace system.threading.task, this class resides task completion source and it is used to create and control task T results object. And if you notice, this class provides four constructors, one read only property and various methods to create, control and complete task manually. How to use task completion source? It's just a four step process by which we can use task completion source efficiently. What are those steps? Step number one, create an instance of task completion source class. How we are going to write this? We need to write something like this, where source is equal to new task completion source a string. So here, basically this line creates a new instance of the task completion source class with a generic type parameter of a string over here, right? Now come to the step number two, get the task from the task completion source instance. That's what I have used this task completion source instance source and here I'm just using the task property of that source.task is just going to give us the task whatever it, it got created from the task completion source. Now come to the step number three control the task. What does it mean? It means we can set the result, set the exception and even cancel the task. So how we are going to perform those things with the help of these methods set result, set exception and set cancelled. So now here what I'm doing I'm just going to set the result. So for that I have used this set result method. That's what I have written source dot set result channel learn enjoy is awesome. Basically this statement is going to get set for the task result. Now come to the step number four use the task. How we are going to use this task. So basically here I'm going to access the result of the task with the result property of the task. That's what I have written task.result inside this console.write line. So here with this statement, I'm just going to print the result of the task and what output we are going to get it. We are going to get the output channel learn enjoy is awesome. Now you should have an idea of how to use task completion source, right? Okay. So now let's switch to the visual studio and see all these things in action. Okay. So here we are in visual studio. Here we are going to see the demo of how to use task completion source to control task manually. To show the demo, what I have done, I have created this console application named task completion source demo that has program.cs file. In program.cs file, first of all, I have added these namespaces using system, using system.threading, using system.threading.task. And inside this namespace task completion source demo, I have one class named program that has main method, which is an entry point of this application. So here, first of all, I'm printing this statement. What I'm printing task completion source demo into console window with the help of console.writeline state. Then I'm just going to follow these four steps in order to use task completion source class to control task manually. What are those steps I'm following over here? Step number one, create an instance of task completion source. That's what I have written this statement where source is equal to new completion source a string. Now come to the step number two, get the task from the instance of task completion source class. That's what I have used source.task so that we got the task. We are storing this task variable of task string. Now what I have done, 
I am just going to start a new thread to simulate some work. And inside this thread, what I am doing, I am just simulating to delay to represent work being done. So that's what I have used thread dot sleep five thousand. It means this statement is just going to make us wait for five seconds. Right now, I have written the step number three. Control the task using set result. That's what I have used source dot set result, and here I have set this statement. Channel learn and enjoy is awesome. Then what I am doing? I am just going to start this thread with the help of a start method. Now come to the step number four. Here in the try block, what I am doing? I am just printing this statement into console window first. Console dot write line waiting for the task to complete, and then I am just going to access this result property of the task. Right? That's what I have written. Task dot result. Whatever the result, I am going to get it. I am just going to store into this string variable named result, and then finally I am just going to print this statement with result. What we have stored into this string variable. Right? And if any error occurs while execution of the task, we have just going to capture it with the help of catch block. That's what I have written. Catch aggregate exception ex. And here, what I am doing, I am handling any exception that were thrown during the task execution. Here, I have written for each var inner exception in ex dot inner exception. And here, inside this for each loop, I am just printing this statement. Task through an exception inner exception dot massive. So this is how this program is constructed. Let me go and execute this program and show this output to you. Okay, so output started appearing over here. See, task completion source demo got printed, waiting for task to complete, and after five seconds. This statement got printed. Task completed with result. Channel learn and enjoy is awesome, right? This statement we have set with the help of set result method. So now let me go and close this. Now what I am going to do uh, instead of you know using the set result, I am just going to set the exception. What I am doing? I am just commenting these two line and uncommenting this line where I have written source dot set exception new exception error came from set exception method. So this is the change I have made. Let me go and save it and execute this program again. Now, if you see, output started appearing. Task completion source demo waiting for the task to complete. And while execution of the task, this got error that we have set with the help of set exception method, right? Task through an exception error came from the set exception method got print. So what happened over here? Here I have set this exception. So this thread was getting executed, and here when I am trying to access this result, then it won the error, and that error I have cached this in aggregate exception. And here I am just using task three and exception, and whatever the inner exception came, I am just concatenating with this, and then finally I am seeing those things printed into this console window. That's how we are going to set exception with the help of set exception. Let me close this. Now what I am going to do? I am just going to comment this line also. And then I'm just going to uncomment this line where I have written source dot set cancel. So basically, I'm just canceling the task with the help of set cancel method. Now let me go and save this and execute this program one more time. Now, if you see the output has started appearing into this console window, task completion source demo waiting for the task to complete, and here task three an exception and a task was cancelled. So this set cancel method it returned this massive. A task was cancelled as a part of exception. We have captured into the aggregate exception where we are looping those things, and finally we got this inner exception that we have concatenated with this statement, and this statement got printed over here. Task three an exception, a task was cancelled. So this is how we are going to use set cancel method in order to control the task. And canceling it. Let me go and close this again. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm just you know commenting this. Finally, what I'm doing, see, uncomment this, right? And here also, I'm just going to uncomment this. Actually, I'm just using the set result method two times. It should throw the error because only one time I can set the result, right? Not the two times. So let me go and save this and execute this again. Now, if you see, this statement got printed. Then it's waiting for five seconds, and then finally. It throw the error. This error, we have got it in Visual Studio exception unhandle system dot invalid operation exception. An attempt was made to transition a task to a final state when it had already complete. That's how we are going to get this error. So to avoid the error, what we need to do? Let me close this. This source set result we have printed over here, right? So instead of this line, what we need to do? We can use this try set result. What it will do? It will check. Okay. If result is already set, then there is a no success. So this each success will get the value as false. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to uncomment this. So even though I'm just going to use this set result with the help of this try set result method, if that result was not issued earlier, so what it will do? It will set this result. Otherwise, it won't set the result. Instead of that, 
will be getting is success is equal to false and here what i am doing if is success is true then this statement should get print but now if you notice i have used set result here itself so this statement already set result to the task and again i am trying to do set again but here we won't be getting an error because here we have handled in this such a way that if already result is set then no further result is going to get set over here right so that we are going to witness it let me go and save this and then let me go and execute this program again now if you see output got appeared into this console page. see task completion source demo got printed waiting for the task to complete task completed with result channel learn and joy is awesome got printed if you see this my result was not set to the result right because this channel learn and joy is awesome is already set previously so here each success will get as a false and if it is false this statement is not going to get executed so for the safer side we can go for the try set result even though we have set earlier so this next try set result will not be setting the value to the task that's how we are not going to get the error okay so this program provides a clear demonstration of how to use task completion source to manually control a task completion in c sharp right okay so that brings me to end up my session today to sum up you have now learned how to create and control tasks manually using task completions this can be incredibly useful for advanced parallel programming scenarios where you need precise control over the task completion. that's all for this video guys if you like this video hit the like button share it with your friends and colleagues subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already thanks for watching see you next video